from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm James Tully. Greg D has a look at a very nice looking forecast in a moment. But first, here are your top headlines on this Thursday. The director of the CDC has now given the green light for kids ages 5 to 11 to get the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Now, kids are only going to get a third of the adult dose. About 15 million pediatric doses expected to be shipped out over the next week. And Walgreens says its online scheduling tool for kids in that age group is online today. The chain expects to start giving out shots to young kids Saturday. CVS also accepting appointments and will start giving the shot to young kids on Sunday. We've got a link to their websites on our website, abcactionnews.com in the coronavirus section. A new study shows the pandemic drove children straight to their screens. Researchers at UC San Francisco found 12 and 13 year olds doubled their non-school related screen time during the pandemic. Researchers say excessive screen time for kids is associated with binge eating and weight gain. And if parents watch their kids online activity, counselors say teens are getting a lot better at hiding stuff. I think it's more than just being on their social media. It's about making certain we're connected with our children. So that is as simple as making certain we have family dinners together or that we take the time to be certain that we're asking them how is their day. That counselor suggests everyone, parents included, should silence their phones at dinner. Walmart, Target, Home Goods, Best Buy, among the retailers that will close on Thanksgiving Day, Macy's, Kohl's, Trader Joe's, Barnes & Noble, Costco, and all Simon Malls will also be closed on the holiday. But CVS, Kroger, Whole Foods, and Old Navy are going to stay open. More people expected to shop in person this year due to supply chain backlog. Experts say the best strategy, be flexible in case the gift you want to buy is not available. The Sarasota Airport looking to make major changes that could help with future expansion. The Sarasota Bradenton Airport. They want to build a brand new parking garage. And they want to do this to hold its rental car facilities. Well, right now, the rental cars are mostly within the airport. They will also move the cell phone waiting lot. Officials are proposing this to Sarasota city leaders later today. Now here's Greg D with that forecast. Hey, Greg. Hey there, James. Hello, everybody. Great day to fly out today. Light winds, sunny skies, temperatures in the mid 80s. Normal high temperatures 81. We'll be right at 84, so a little warmer than we typically see it. Morning temperatures right on target. Light winds out of the north, only about 5 to 10 miles an hour. And more importantly, that humidity measured by the dew point, very comfortable. The air is going to be dry throughout the afternoon. That's going to change in a big way as we head towards the end of the week as we're tracking big rain approaching. Take a look at it now in the ABC Action News app. James. Sounds great. Thank you, Greg. Get your news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel.